Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a little late night vlog. So it is currently 3.21 p.m. in the day. It's a little bit late. I usually start my vlogs earlier in the morning, but I've been editing all day. Um, and I slept pretty late this morning because I spent the last five days in Kentucky because I flew back home the past week and spent some time with my family and my friends and shit. So today's like my first day back in my apartment in a hot minute. So I'm excited to be back. I've spent most of the day just organizing, cleaning, doing laundry, getting everything nice and organized. Um, so it feels good to have a clean apartment. Also, I've got a new poster, you guys. So I got this really cool Kurt poster. I already have one Kurt poster over here, but I got another one because this one just looks super fucking dope. So my apartment is really fucking coming together, y'all. Got my poster set up. Got my nice computer set up, y'all. I've been vibing in here, it's fucking dope. I'm really happy with it. I have so many more ideas for this apartment. Um, I'm gonna extend these lights so they go all the way around. And then I'm also gonna put these lights in my bathroom because I think that'll be super dope. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to actually head out. I'm gonna go to the grocery store and grab some ingredients to make chicken parmesan because I really want to make that tonight. And I'm also gonna go to the alcohol store and see if I can find some of the new cacti Travis Scott drinks because I've been wanting to try those as well. And I know they have them here in the city, so I'm gonna try that. I don't really drink alcohol a lot, but these look really fucking good, so I'm gonna try them with you guys. Um, and I'm also gonna be going to the tattoo shop, I think, and getting a new face tattoo. So I've been thinking about getting a peace sign right here below my heart for the longest time. And I was on Instagram earlier, and the tattoo shop near my house said they have like a bunch of openings today and they're doing walk ins until 8 o'clock. So I think I'm gonna stop by and get that tattoo. I, might, I was really wanting to get a wrist tattoo because I have this empty space on my wrist right here and I really wanna fill that in. So I might get something there as well if I can think of what to get because I really don't know what to put here. That's such an awkward placement, but I'm definitely gonna try to get the peace sign um, on my face because fuck it anyways. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, this vlog is gonna consist of getting tattoos, getting drunk and making some chicken parmesan. So I'm about to head out and uh, see where today goes. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a quick outfit of the day before I leave. So I have on a few layers. It ended up snowing in Colorado like two days ago. So like when I landed on my plane, it was just like covered in snow here. And I just didn't expect that when I got back, but it was a pleasant surprise, honestly. Cause I don't really mind the snow. I kind of like it. So yeah, got on this Bad Brains t-shirt. It's really fucking dope. Then I threw on this short sleeve vans like red and white button up and then i threw on this cardigan over it the cardigan doesn't really match but it just adds a nice layer and some warmth i got on my black pants and then my converse all-stars all right you guys so i just pulled up to the tat shop i'm about to go in here i'm gonna see if one, they can get me in, actually give me the tattoo. And then for two, I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me like record and shit. So I've never been to this tattoo shop. I just follow them on Instagram and I saw they had openings. That's what they posted at least. So, well, yeah, y'all, let's fucking go get it. All right, you guys, so I just left the tattoo shop. It is right over there and they couldn't get me in like immediately. So I wrote down my phone number and my name and he said he'd give me a call in about an hour or two and then he would get me in and get me my tattoo today. So in the meantime, I'm about to run to the grocery store and I'm gonna get my chicken parmesan ingredients so I can cook with y'all when I get home tonight after I get my tattoo. And I'm also gonna go ahead and pick up the alcohol. So we're gonna get lit tonight, you guys. <laughs> I also rolled up a blunt before I left, so I might have a little smoke before, um, before my tat. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm parked at the grocery store. I'm about to take a few hits off this blunt that I rolled up before I go in here, because I'm trying to go in here feeling good. If I have to go in here and be around people, I might as well be high. <laughs> That's the cool thing about Colorado. I feel like I can just go in anywhere smelling like gas and no one really gives a fuck. Alright y'all, I'm good.
All right, you guys, so I'm back home. The tattoo place actually just called me, so I'm about to leave like right now and go back there. So it was like kind of perfect timing. So at King Supers, which is like where I go grocery shopping, such a fucking random place. I'd never heard of King Supers till I moved here. But anyways, it's fucking lit. <laughs> they ended up having the cacti, Travis Scott alcohol drink. So I'm gonna try this. As you can see, there's all three flavors. We got pineapple, lime, and strawberry. Super excited about that. I'm gonna throw that bitch in the fridge before I leave. And then I also got all of my chicken parm ingredients. So I got marinara, I got Italian breadcrumbs, and then I got some more breadcrumbs because I was like, fuck it, I don't know which one to get. So I'm gonna get both. So that's what I did. And this is kind of random, but I bought some mason jars because I want to keep my weed in these from now on because it just looks really pretty. And I'm gonna buy like a label maker and like print off like the strain that I have in like each jar at the time. That'll be really fucking cool. So yeah, y'all, that's all I got at the store. I'm about to head out go back to the tattoo shop and uh, get fucking tatted. I might be getting another tattoo right here on my wrist. Um, I showed him and he was like, yeah, we can possibly do that. So I'll see y'all when I get back to the tattoo shop. Hopefully they let me record. So I guess we'll see. All right, you guys, so I just came out of the tattoo shop. I'm smoking my blunt and I got my tat. So I got the peace sign. He did a really good job. He charged me a hundred fucking dollars. However, it looks fucking sick. I'm really happy with it. I got peace and love on my face. So yeah, now I'm about to run home or head home. It's like almost seven o'clock. My hair looks fucking crazy as always. Like literally, no matter how I style it, my hair just like has a mind of its own. It does its own thing. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna go home and uh, get drunk, make my chicken parm, and chill with my new face tap. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back home now and I started cooking my food and I was like, holy shit, I never even showed y'all what I was doing. So I started making my chicken parm. I got my chicken all chopped up and seasoned, so I'm coating that in butter, then I'm dipping it in the breadcrumb mixture, and then that is what it looks like. So then I'm just gonna bake the chicken in the oven and it's gonna be super fucking good. I got my apartment all lit up and shit. I also just washed and cleaned my face tat. And it's looking good. Let me show y'all what it looks like. So this is what it looks like, you guys. It looks really fucking good now that I've washed it and like I got all the excess ink off and shit. It looks like a perfect tattoo. I was kind of nervous at first that it was gonna be um, just like really thick and just like blown out because like where these lines are really little they can like run together you know but i think when it like heals and fades it'll look a lot more i don't know i feel like it'll fit my face better when it fades more but i'm fucking happy with it i think it's fucking dope oh my god i forgot about the alcohol <laughs> let me get this shit out y'all because we're about to drink some motherfucking cacti oh. all right y'all All right, you guys, so I got the chicken in the oven and I got the pasta on the stove and it is cooking. Also, just wrote up a nice little blunt I'm smoking on. So while this food is finishing cooking, y'all, I am gonna try out this alcohol. So I think the flavor I'm gonna start with is strawberry. That sounds really fucking good, I don't know why. So let's fucking get it. The chicken is done. Let me pull it out of the oven, y'all. All right, y'all. So this is what the chicken looks like. It smells super good. Looks crispy as fuck. So I'm about to put some cheese on top, some marinara sauce on top, and then I'm gonna put it back in the oven. Man, my noodles are over here cooking still. This is gonna be a great dinner, you guys. And this blunt is hitting. All right, you guys, so I got my chicken back in the oven, put some cheese on it, put some marinara sauce on it, and I'm gonna let that melt, and uh, then we're gonna dive in. But while that's finishing up cooking, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this cacti drink. Really excited, so this is a strawberry, like I said. And these are 7% alcohol, which is kind of a good amount. You know, White Claws, I think, are 5%, 4 or 5 or 6%. So it's more than a White Claw and a Bud Light. I know that. So let's crack it open. I'm going to try all the flavors tonight. 
Wow. It doesn't have a alcoholy aftertaste in your mouth. It has like a fruit aftertaste. Wow. This is really good. I honestly want to shotgun one of these. <laughs> Yo. That's super fire. Right, I'm not even just saying that. Because it's Travis. I'm like, holy fuck. This is so good. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another. This is the lime. I'm going to go ahead and try this bad boy. Don't even worry, y'all. I'm not going to waste these. I'm going to drink all of them. <clears throat> So let's crack open this lime. See how she's tasting. It's interesting. It really doesn't leave like an alcoholic taste in your mouth, which I really, really like. It doesn't burn when you swallow it or anything. Um, honestly, this is really good. Really drinkable. It says agave spiked seltzer so i don't really know what agave is but i have a feeling like that's what's making it kind of smoother on your throat and mouth and not burn as much that's really good wow also this blunt is fucking hitting so i'm gonna go take a pee because i have to pee really fucking bad then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna try the other flavor <laughs> so i'll be right back all right, y'all, I'm back. That was a great pee. While I was peeing, it kind of hit me. I was like, wow, I'm already tipsy. And I literally just drank that. So now I'm gonna try the motherfucking pineapple one. So let's fucking get it. All these cans are dented for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Honestly, I don't remember how much this was. Probably like 12 bucks, but yeah, let's get the pineapple. I posted this on my Instagram story. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. SGFU Matthew. <clears throat> yeah, I posted these on my Instagram story and someone said that the pineapple was the best one, so I'm excited to try this. I already like the other two, so. Okay. It doesn't have a burn taste, which is like the main thing I don't like, my main turn off in alcohol. However, this flavor is just like, I don't know how I feel about it. I definitely like the strawberry the best and almost like the lime better than this. This is just the really weird flavor. I feel like the more you drink of this though, the more you like it. Cause it's really not bad. This is not bad at all actually. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna give these a quick rating. So I'm gonna give the lime a good seven out of 10. I'm going to give the strawberry a good 9 out of 10. Then I'm going to give the pineapple a good 8 out of 10. So that's my cacti drink ratings. Um, hell fucking yeah. Shit's pretty tasty. I'm not really a drinker and you're an alcoholic. This is the first time I've drank since I've been in Colorado, y'all. Like I was drinking like almost every day basically at my old house in Kentucky just for the hell of it, you know. But since I've moved here, I have not really been drinking all that much. But I'm going to put the rest of these back in the fridge yeah y'all holy shit i'm already feeling like a slight buzz from those this blunt's probably adding to the effect <laughs> but yeah y'all my chicken has about five more minutes and then we're gonna sit down and eat this motherfucking chicken pasta so yeah all right you guys so i got my chicken parm this shit looks so fucking good I'm gonna go ahead and try this with y'all. I hope it's crunchy, the chicken. Oh yeah, this looks good as fuck. Mmm, yeah. This is about to be fire. I'm gonna put the recipe down below if y'all wanna try it. Damn, this is good. These things don't fuck around. 
like when I first started drinking these, it like hit me really quick. But yeah, y'all, this chicken parm goes so fucking hard. So super easy to make and it's really tasty. So I highly recommend you try it. Yeah, you guys, I am going to hop on my computer and uh, probably watch a YouTube video and chill and eat my food and wind down for the night. It's dark out and I've been up since like 5 a.m. So I'm gonna get ready for bed. All right, you guys, so it is the next day. Um, I never ended this vlog last night. I ate my food last night and I passed the fuck out. I keep forgetting I have this face tattoo. It looks kind of swollen and puffy today, but that's as expected. It kind of looks like a black Sharpie dot on my face. I know someone's gonna say that, but <laughs> yeah, it's definitely swollen. When it like fades and goes down, it'll be like a lot more subtle and look a lot better. So yeah, y'all, I um, ended up having some packages delivered downstairs. So they text me and we're like, hey, you have hella packages, so come get them. So I have no idea what the fuck is in this big box. I just happened to look at it in the store or package room. And I saw my name on it. I was like, what the fuck? So I got it. Um, I know what this is. I've been waiting on this since fucking December. So I'm excited to unbox this shit with y'all. Let me get a knife. So I actually already know what is in this one. It is a rug and a t-shirt. Um, and it's from the brand Super Radical. I literally ordered this last December <laughs> when I was living in Kentucky. Like I ordered this so long ago that I thought I was never gonna get it. So I'm excited to finally have this. You guys, this rug is so sick. So it says go to hell. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it was gonna be bigger than this honestly and I don't really know where at in my apartment I'm gonna put this at, but this is super cool. I might hang it on my wall honestly. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, yeah, and I also got a t-shirt. Wow, this is a dope t-shirt. As y'all know, I have a thing for white t-shirts. Um, so yeah, it just says Super Radical on it. And there's like a heart made out of stars in it. I don't know, this is like so me, honestly. This is a great t-shirt. And I'm wearing a white t-shirt with a red heart on it now, as we speak. So yeah, y'all. Um, now I'm gonna open up this big box and see what the fuck is in here. Hey, like I said, I have no fucking idea what this is. I tried to Google like the name of the company that like shipped it to me and I couldn't find anything on Google. So hopefully it's not like a bomb <laughs> or like fucking that shit they use to poison people like when they breathe it and open packages. I don't fucking know. Okay, this is from Freeze Pipes. They sent me like a bunch of bombs and shit. So I'm gonna actually wait and uh, I'm gonna open this at a later time in a Bentley Blaze video. So, yeah, I guess I'm in this video here, you guys. I actually knew I was getting that package in the mail because um, we're gonna be working together on a video and there's gonna be a bunch of products. So I'm excited to open that, but I'm gonna open that on my Bentley Blaze channel. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.